you know, anytime uh, I thought our play, uh, I thought our team played extremely well. Uh, had great respect for that Vice team. I thought coming into that game, I didn't think I knew coming into that game they'd won six straight. Uh, they were extremely well coached. They've done a tremendous job. That team has won 10 straight games in the last two years. And uh, I thought these would be a great challenge for us. I thought our team came out and played well in all three phases. And that was great. So our defense was tremendous. We held them 180 yards of total defense and total offense. And, a lot of that came on that last drive with the twos in there, so it was a tremendous day for the defense. Uh, offensively, they went ahead and did the special teams. So, excited where we are. We've got a great challenge next week, and uh, we're going to come back and uh, we'll enjoy this a little bit tonight. Come back tomorrow morning to play again. How many defensive performances have you seen in your coaching career, assistant or otherwise, like that? Well, uh, not, not, not many. <coughs> that, uh, number one, they, they did a great job of stopping the run. You know, I thought going that, that team scored about 35 points a game in the last six games. And, uh, you know, they played 15 to tremendous play. But I think one thing that Chuck does a great job of is he takes away the strength of that particular offense. Uh, he did that at the end of the day. And, uh, it, was, it was just it was fun to watch. How close to perfect all around? You know, never perfect. And you always, you know, you, you, you always get better. We, we weren't close to being perfect. We had the one turnover, you know, that shouldn't have happened, and you had the one. And the kid did a, did a tremendous job trying to get out of the way to get to that one hunt to go around a little bit. We worked at it a lot. So, you know, that being a couple of turnovers there kept it from being pretty clean. But uh, overall, I thought, uh, you know, our kids, whenever you put that 75 on the side of your helmet, and that means a lot to the players. They played extremely well. And you do that the game. Defense sort of looked like it had a few more people on the field going with them today. Yeah, I'd say, I'd say, I thought this weekend's been tremendous. I mean, you guys had the opportunity to get Tommy Schumer as a vet. He was sensational. Uh, just a great weekend, and uh, just uh, our football team went out and played the way they're supposed to play. Doc, you guys keep making statements. I don't know if anybody's listening, but what, what are your thoughts? I can care less to be honest. You know, just keep doing what we're doing. You know? and I think that uh, we can only worry about what we can control. And sooner or later, you just keep winning. There'll have no choice but to recognize that's what we have to do. You know, we just have to keep winning, keep playing well. Can you rank this a defensive effort among Sorry. the one? Can you rank this defensive effort this year among the? This may be the best we've had since I've been here. I, mean, I don't know. You, you, know, you guys all know all the stat, I mean, stat wise. Like I say, you take away that, you know, we had all our backups in there on that one drive. I don't know how far it was, 60 or 70 yards, whatever it was. You take that out, they had about 110 yards of total off offense they had the entire day. So they did a whole lot better than the average. We can always get better. You know, we can get better. We getting thrown at more involved in the offense a little bit more this week. How much did that open up some of the stuff with Tommy and well, you know, we knew going in that they, they'd done a great job and did the same thing a year ago, taking away your outside receivers and the way they play, the way they structure the defense. And uh, we have a hard time getting the ball vertical down the field because of the way they play, but because of what they do, the inside routes, uh, you, 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 you take, kind of take advantage of a couple of things. But, and that's, what, that's why Schuler and, uh, and Pro had big days because of the way the structure of the defense uh, allowed number one to be able to run the ball a little bit, but number one to be able to run the ball, but also take advantage of Anytime you play great defense, you get off the field in third downs. That's what they did. They had tremendous on third downs, which they've done all year for the most part. And uh, they played well. I know you guys don't you know, aren't big on stats and stuff, but uh, what the team's been able to do this season and now today, I mean, now he's the all time leader in touchdown passes. Can you quantify what he's what he meant and what he did today? Well, it's like anything else. I, you know, people probably won't appreciate what he's done until he's gone. You know, that's kind of the way it is, the way it works. And, uh, you know, what he's accomplished, put him up there and talk in terms of Akeem Cato, that he said he talked in terms of Chad and Byron. It's unbelievable. I mean, you put those two, he's in really good company. You know, and, uh, at the end of the day, he's going to walk out of here being one of the top three quarterbacks in the history of Marshall football, without question. And, uh, the kid deserves everything he gets. And one thing I know is I, I like him on that. He's the most competitive quarterback I've ever coached. And when you walk out on the field on Saturday, you sure like him. He's on our side because I've never been around a guy that competes. Works like he works, and these guys watch him practice. He practices the same way, so that's why he's special. And uh, we don't have him a whole lot longer, but we're going to cherish the next three or four games we have him. How much? How aggravated was he with the pick? You all up seventeen nothing with a chance to put it away. 
he's harder on himself than he is anyone else. Uh, so I guarantee you he's he way happier with himself than half the time. That's just the way he is. They just uh, they just throw a bad ball, or he gets beat set. Yeah, they can't be out. We had the guy open, and his feet weren't set. Yeah, but he's he doesn't make a whole lot of errors. And, uh, I made a hell of a lot more plays positive than just a lot of Offensive line once again. I mean, this is a team that came in, you know, two guys with seven or more sacks. They they've been coming in hot as far as getting pressure off the edge. And wasn't that much for him today? Both those defensive ends played extremely good today. They both had over seven and a half sacks each or whatever they had. One of them had seven and had five against FIU, I think. So they put a lot of pressure on the quarterback throughout the year with our offensive.